Congratulations. Hi. Hey, Megan. How, How are, are you? Are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank oh, you for God. asking. This is the Witches, Magic, Murder, and Mystery Podcast. And I'm Kara. And I'm Megan. And I've got a side piece episode. Yeah. It's Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday side pieces. Let's see. Do we have anything to talk to people about? Check out the Patreon tiers. Oh, yeah. It's fun. It's Check good out our Facebook group. Yes, just love us. <laughs> the Facebook group is, I mean, I just, I love it. I know I talk about it a lot, but I do yeah. super love it. It's so much fun. I really like watching you guys, like, just communicate. Yeah. Like, even when I'm not posting anything. Oh, yeah. Just, all I, so I like creating this little community. Yeah. It makes me happy. Yeah. Go check it out. The link to all of that is in the show notes. Exactly. Okay. So, in celebration of, like, the Olympics going on right now, I just mm-hmm. figured I'd cover uh, Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Hardy. <gasps> nice. <laughs> Oh There's my no murder, God. but it's a criminal thing. Yeah. I fully remember when this happened. Oof. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Man, it was wild. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Obviously, Nancy Kerrigan was attacked January 6, 1994, after practice in Detroit, Michigan. Um, and it's like one of the biggest sports scandals ever. <laughs> <laughs> and it was. It was. I mean, I used to love watching figure skating that was like the only thing i ever cared about yeah in the olympics in the winter olympics yes and you know you knew tanya harding oh and Nancy Sheridan. Yeah. they were well known they were competitive both, yeah was, super successful who was the other one that was always up there with them too it's mentioned in here oh i can't christy remember. yamaguchi yeah yep i was thinking yamamoto yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm like yeah. that's not it no yamaguchi Okay, did you watch I, Tanya? No, I, I, I don't watch anything. No, I watched bits and pieces of it, but I just couldn't keep up with it because it just, if this is a clear portrayal of her life, she was just in such an abusive relationship with her mom, boyfriend, husband, dad. That's I understand. Dad. That's my Like, it just was a horrible life for her to live. Especially in contrast to Nancy Kerrigan. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't excuse it. No, anything, no. It is kind of like, just, gosh, yes. the, the contrast between the two women. Yes. So what happened was February 14th, 1991, Tanya Harding beat Nancy Kerrigan in a figure skating championship. In the following month, she was winning again. She won silver to Kerrigan's bronze in the world championships in Germany. Mm. Um, And she was also the first American woman to perform a triple axel successfully in any competition that year. Oh, dang. Yeah. So my daughter, my 15-year-old figure skates... This oh, stuff yeah. is hard. Okay, it's, stuff is hard. Yes, it's scary. Those blades are sharp. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, these two women, obviously, they're both Olympians and at the World Championships. They're mm-hmm. top of their game. They're amazing, mm-hmm. incredible figure skaters. Yes. Yes. We're going to fast forward to 1994. Um, Kerrigan became the victim of Harding and Galuli. Is it Galuli's? Galuli's? Oh, again. Uh, the guy that I appreciate yeah. that you think I would know. Yeah. Okay. So they hired a hitman stant um, to club Kerrigan's right knee, and cameras were there for the aftermath. And so newspapers were just like putting Kerrigan's like reactions that were caught on mm-hmm. camera, and all you can hear is her screaming, "Why? Why? Why? Yeah. Why me?" Of course, I'm sure her whole life is devoted to this. to using She's her legs. To be the yeah. Olympics and yeah. She just came out of rehearsal, right? And then out of yes. nowhere, someone attacked her by, yeah. I mean, going for her legs. Like, yeah. think about how awful that would be. Exactly. If you're all you've been working you're for. You're coming out of practice. You're feeling good about yeah. it. You're like, I'm going to the Olympics. Yeah, you're an Olympian. Your whole life, you've been. This is what you're oh, you've trained this is the for. the pinnacle. Exactly. So it didn't break any bones. She left with bruises. I mean, it was a nasty injury. Um but it pulled her out of competition for the national championships that following night. She's like, she obviously can't do anything. She's torn to pieces. Mm-hmm. So January 8th, 94, Tanya Harding wins a gold. Um, she won um, a spot to the Winter Olympics in Norway. Kerrigan, you know, had to forego that competition. But all the skaters that were going to the Olympics were like, you know what? We think she should compete in the Olympics as well. Even Tanya. Or like we think she should be able to compete. Let's let's get her to go, because Tanya thinks this is knocked her down a little bit. So she's she just going to keep. Win- yeah, she's just going to keep winning. How long was this after the attack? January eighth. So two days mm. afterwards. So they didn't know that Tanya was involved. right. Yeah. Exactly. So um, an FD- FBI investigation launched into Tanya Harding's bodyguard Eckhart. January twelfth. 
he ended up confessing to his involvement in the attack. Oh, wow. And he, uh uh-huh, from like what, January 6th to the 12th. Mm -hmm. So he incriminates Stant, Galuli, Smith, who was the driver of the getaway car. And then January 14th, Nancy Kerrigan was like, I'm going to hold a press conference. Um, She was trying to be upbeat about it, trying to talk about ice skating, talking about the criminals that were charged. But she still, like, it still hadn't come out that Tanya was involved. Wow. Mm -hmm. Even though the bodyguards, like, how did they not think Tanya was involved if they've got the bodyguard? Mm -hmm. So January 27th of 94, the mastermind behind the attack, Gluli, which was the one with Tanya, um, surrendered to the FBI four days later. After was he like her coach or her boyfriend? Um, he was married to her from 90 to 93. So he was her husband. Yes. He confessed after there was a warrant out for him. Tanya Harding still denied any involvement. And he was just like, I orchestrated everything. But then it implicated Harding, too. Mm. She was just like, no, 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 like, this is ridiculous. She was quoted saying, despite my mistakes and rough edges, I've done nothing to violate the standards of excellence and sportsmanship that are expected in an Olympic athlete. Tanya, what? Every person around you is involved in yes. this. And we're supposed and to believe she's you your are direct just a competition. Bystander? Yeah. February 1st, um, in exchange for a lighter sentence, Galuli, her husband, testified against her. And pled guilty to the crime of racketeering. They, FBI took their trash and they found notes revealing Nancy Kerrigan's practice schedule in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Um, Handwriting experts confirmed that those notes were written by Tanya. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, she's just stalking her. That she's doesn't mean not, she's yeah, going to attack her. Yeah, she didn't her. attack her. She just no. wanted to know when she was practicing so she could go secretly watch and make yeah. sure she wasn't doing Spy anything that her. she was going to do. And make sure the attack would go okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Talking to the U.S. Olympic Committee, Harding, and all this going on, they were just like, you know what? It's still an open case. We're going to let her compete in the Olympics. I'm sorry, what? Mm-hmm. February 17th, 94, they are going to the Olympics. Mm -hmm. They're at a practice session for the first time since January's attack. And Kerrigan was like, you know what? I'm going to stick it to her. I'm going to wear the same outfit I was attacked in. And she decided she was going to start skating around her at practice. Oh, my God. In that outfit. I freaking love it. Uh Uh-huh. Kerrigan told the press, humor is good. It's empowering. Oh, my God. (laughs) So February 25th. On the night of the Olympics, Tanya stopped performing during her first skating because her shoelace broke. And she was allowed to re-skate because it was, you know, not of her fault. Mm -hmm. Um, But it said that she came in eighth place and people were like, that's her karma. She, She deserved every bit of this. So February 25th, again, Kerrigan won silver. Um, she thought that she was going to win gold, but, you know, things happen. So, so she still happen. won silver yeah. after the brutal attack, like, what, uh-huh. two months earlier? Yeah, but Oksana Bayul oh, yeah, ended up winning too. gold. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like I said, Kerrigan won silver. Um, Don't she, you love that, like, you had no trouble with that name? I know, because, because we, we know. know what, <laughs> we know. What. Everybody's like, really? Y'all got Oksana Bayul, right? <laughs> yes. So, Kerrigan was being a little snatch herself she was caught on camera complaining about oksana and she said she was causing a delay in the medal ceremony she said oh come on she's so she's going to get out here and cry again what's the difference (laughs) come on nancy Uh, i mean i tell you what cutthroat and women women get cutthroat shoot what's all of us not be that way let's don't be that person Mm -mm. so march 16th they're back There's a ton of evidence against Harding that they had been building while she was there. She was charged and pled guilty to conspiracy to hinder prosecution. Uh, She had three years probation and a $160,000 fine. In 1994, her championship titles revoked and she was banned from the United States Federation of, or figure skating, what, what is it, USF, what does it stand for, USFSA, United States? It's Figure Skating Association. Yeah. Yeah, that was close. So she couldn't. Yeah. She was never going to compete again. Yeah. So here's where these people are. So Tanya Harding, obviously, did all that stuff. Mm -hmm. She didn't go to jail, though. No, she just, yeah, probation slapped with all that. What is it like? Don't attack 
any more pictures. Yeah, probably like you're not allowed on these grounds anymore. I don't know. Um, so she divorced that guy in 93, married her second husband in 95. That marriage lasted three months. Um, oh, jeez. At the time of this article, which I think was maybe 2017, mm -hmm. she was living in Washington State with her third husband, and she said that they had married, or they met at a karaoke bar and married in 2010. They have a six-year-old son, and she claims he was a miracle baby because she wasn't supposed to have kids. And Nancy Kerrigan, 94, obviously was at, like, the pinnacle of her figure mm -hmm. skating. 2017, she was 48. She told ABC News, we were at an event four years after I was attacked, but we didn't really speak to each other. So it was very awkward and st strange when the interview asked if she got an apology from uh, Harding. She said, not a direct. Does it matter at this point? Also, I'm just amazed that Tanya Harding would show up at any event. I know. Where Nancy Kerrigan's going. Exactly. Like, like, did your people not tell you that she it's like she doesn't have here. the sense to be embarrassed. Uh -huh. Not even just be embarrassed because of what you did. Be embarrassed because you clearly thought the only way I could win is to get her out of there. Exactly. So you, And then you came in eighth place because you got in your own head. Kerrigan has three kids with her husband um, of 22 years. Mm. Yep. She decided to step back into the spotlight in 2017 as a contestant on Dancing with the Stars. She also executive produced the upcoming sports documentary, Why Don't You Lose Five Pounds, which is an athlete struggle with eating disorders. Oh, nice. Yeah. Jeff Galuli, he was a conveyor belt operator who was married to Tanya Harding, mm -hmm. 90 to 93. Uh, now he has changed his name to Jeff Stone after he was released from prison in 95, shaved off his famous mustache, which I don't remember, and uh, was a used car salesman. I mean, Galuli is a pretty easily Googleable, Googleable name. Yeah. So Jeff Stone's easier. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> um, Lavana Fay, which is her mom. Obviously, was like an abusive mom. She and Tanya still don't talk anymore. She said, she hates me. I could never do anything right for her. I gave her one swat at a competition. I would love to be a part of the family, but I know she does not want this, so I will not bother her. She said they haven't spoken in 15 years since 2002, so I don't know if they've talked since. Mm. Um, so all those people, they lived out these crazy lives and then just like went into like hiding pretty much afterwards. Yeah. I am, Scott. It's going to be rough to be Tanya Harding's son because people. Oh, my gosh. Yes. You know, it's one of these stories you don't. Oh, no. We're present. still talking about it. Yeah. Oh, man. No, oh, man. Don't beat people's knees. <laughs> I mean, you know, rather than feeling like I'm going to attack someone so they won't be my competition, just work harder. Yeah, work harder. Or maybe, you know, be their friend, admire them for being so freaking talented. And competitively trash talk them. I don't know. I know. Yeah. Trash talk's fun. Yeah. And. They were both really, 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 really good. Yeah. And Tanya Harding had beat Nancy multiple times before. Yeah. You just keep competing. Right. Wouldn't it make it even better if you won? Like, if you had won just because you got Nancy out of the way, mm -hmm. I don't know. Who also, cares then? Also, had y'all been paying attention, you would have learned that Oksana Bayul was yeah. actually she doing take you both Yeah, up. she was doing something great on the ice rink and showed you both up. Yeah, it's ridiculous. No, oh, man. I've yeah. forgotten all about that. Yep. I've even seen stuff about the Olympics yes. and it just hadn't even crossed my mind. So yep. thank you for reminding me. Oh, yeah. I saw it. I need to make sure Lauren knows about that story. Yes. Yeah. She'd be entertained. Yeah. I Which saw sounds it. terrible. But. And I had another episode ready, but I was like, nope, got to do this. Yeah. Got to yeah. do it. All right. Well, thank you for that. You're welcome. And you guys, if you want to send us any story ideas, you can find us everywhere in the show notes. Literally everywhere. Yeah. All right. We love all right, you. so much. Goodbye. Goodbye.